Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to a turn of mine. Now, I have donned my hard hat and uh, not a lot else. And we are going to be doing some mining. So in order to mine, we just click with our pickaxe. Okay, it's taking a little bit longer than I thought it would. I'm still just going to keep clicking. Just keep clicking. Come on. Come on. I'm clicking as fast as I can. Come on. Please. And then we've mined a block. Now, sometimes we'll be lucky and we'll get one of these lovely resources. But something we will always be earning is this, the luck resource. Now, at the moment, I haven't been too lucky, but uh, we will just keep click. Okay, no, that's enough of that. That is enough of that. Thankfully, the game is very kind. And in here, quality of life, there is auto mine, which means oh, we're mining automatically. I don't have to click anything with my fingers. I can literally do whatever I want with my hands. Whatever I want. Like open this package from today's video sponsor, man. Manscaped.com. So this is the Beard Hedger Pro Kit because those with a beard know that if you don't look after it, you'll soon end up looking like this. Anyway, let's open this thing up and see what's inside. Ooh, instructions on how to look after your beard. We got some beard oil, some lovely beard shampoo with a dispensable cap, as well as a beard conditioner and a beard balm, which all smell amazing and will leave you feeling and looking fresh. There's also three gifts in this set, a beard brush, which is also bristly, a wooden beard comb, and these high quality beard scissors, which no paddy, are not for dogs. Finally, within this travel case, which has a particularly satisfying zip, is the Beige Hedger. It has 20 different cutting heights using this wheel to adjust. And you can also take the guard off if you want to get up close and personal. You can charge it using the included USB Type-C cable. Very convenient. But the best thing is you know that this razor hasn't been to places and trim things that you don't want to be putting on your face. You can get 20% off plus free shipping if you head to manscaped.com and use code RealCivilEngineer. That's 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com using code RealCivilEngineer. Cheers for supporting the video, but let's get back to some mining. Meanwhile, we'll keep smashing three blocks which is quite good although as an engineer i feel like this process could be sped up a bit so let's turn off auto mine and let's bring out my friend the auto clicker oh my goodness that's a lot faster <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I can actually, I can mine from a distance. Oh, wow. So I can mine that far away. Okay, that's going to be very useful. Oh, don't you love things like auto clickers? Yes. They make everything so much more bearable. Anyway, that's the top layer done. And I'm quite pleased because I've just dropped down to the bottom. Look how far this actually goes down down i would have been here all day anyway i've sold the blocks i had for 200 quid because in fact if you look in the top left i can only hold 10 at a time so i did actually waste quite a few of those anyway we'll mine a few more until we get to the 10 blocks again like that head back to this guy sell them for 200 quid nice we are making money now you might be wondering matt what are you going to do with all that money how are we going to engineer a way to do this faster well if we head back this way we can go to the lobby and there's all sorts of stuff here the mine was straight ahead we've got quests where we can win extra of stuff like keys. This is where we can spend our luck. Now we've got 80 already. So we can get a sharper pickaxe for five and make it sharper again for 20. Yes, please. Now we can make my backpack bigger, which will be good. And because we like gambling, there's loads that add the chance to do stuff. So this one adds a chance to remove an entire layer. A 0.025% chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. I like those odds. Bye. Anyway, there's another shop that has like movement, strength, and max health and stuff, as well as increasing your sword. Because yes, this isn't just a mining game. There's a whole load of dungeons and stuff, but we need keys in order to go to those. Yeah, in the shop. Oh, there's free stuff in the shop. So one small token bag. Yes, please. As well as some money bags. Yep, I will take those. Oh, and a treasure key. Yes, please. So with our key, we can open the bronze treasure. So yes, please please. What are we going to get? It's only going to be one of these things. 50 tokens. So I'll tell you what, let's just buy like a chance to do everything. So we should have more chance to find token bags and money and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Look, our inventory holds 40 blocks now as well, which means once we've mined out a couple of rows like that, we get 808 quid. Not bad. Anyway, we could keep mining here, but it's actually better if we head back to the lobby. We're currently in mine A, but if we spend 500 quid, we can go to mine B. So let's go have a look at it. Oh, it looks the same, but different. I think there's different blocks here, which are going to be worth a little bit more. So it will smash out the top row again and go and see. Yes, it's now worth 969. Yeah. Nice. So we'll dig out a couple more rows, sell them. Oh, we actually got a little bit less that time. Um, and I want to head down to the very 
bottom. Ow, my kneecaps. And just see if the deeper we go, are they worth more? I feel like that's usually how mining works in video games. And technically true in real life because gold sits on the bedrock, doesn't it? Anyway, with that done, we'll head back up the ladder. Give it a sell. Now, nah, it's pretty much the same. I think it's just worth slightly more depending on how many green blocks or these purpley ones are in it. Anyway, we got loads of luck. So let's head back and let's increase our chances of like getting a money bag, a chance to sell my entire backpack, a chance to get bombs and a nuke. Yes, please. And then the rest, it might be worth going with sharper pickaxe for more damage. And then maybe making my blocks worth more in terms of tokens. So we get more of those tokens per block hit. Yeah, that is a 35% pay increase. Nice. Next up, we'll buy the C mine. And I may as well buy the D mine and go straight there. So, oh, look at this. Look at this. It's all different. So yeah, the sort of spotty blocks, they, oh wow, they take quite a lot more to get through. But uh, presumably, they're more valuable as well. So inventory filled up. Let's Let's go have a little look. Oh, we got a grand. I mean, that's not actually that much better. It's only like 10% better than before. And that could just be my selling value. Is that even this mine being better? I don't know. Let's try and get only the, the harder blocks to destroy this time. Easier said than done when you're mining at like 10,000 hits a second. Still, let's have a look. 1.2 thousand, not too bad. But it does mean that we're going to have to do a bit more mining before we can go to another claim. Anyway, after a bit more mining, I can afford to do some of these. So let's give us I think just more of those blocks. Get the value up. A bigger backpack and faster chop. All sounds good to me. Anyway, remember these money bags I had down here? If we come to this shop, we can actually sell these. So we get two and a half grand money for each of those and a thousand tokens for each of those, which means we've now got 10 grand so we can go to the next mine, mine E. Yeah. And by the way, shout out to the people in the comments that always just put E. <laughs> I don't understand it, but it's always there. Right, so in this one, there's like dirty rocks, which are pretty powerful. You need some stain remover on it or something. But you can see, oh, oh man, we are smashing through like the easy ones. Yeah, these take ages, even with my auto clicker. Anyway, with our new bigger inventory, it's now 50. What are these worth? Oh, 1.4 grand. Not too bad. I need 10 grand in order to get the next mine. Uh, but if you look at the look at the tokens, how fast they're going up, that means we'll be able to upgrade ourselves in no time. Oh, there's a bomb. There was a bomb. It can't be that went off. We got to go have a look at what the chance of that happening was. But let's just mine my way out. Let's go sell that for 1400. And then, oh, we've leveled up to level two. So we get some gems. So first off, we'll waddle down to the shop. And you can see we can use those diamonds later on to buy better treasure keys. So that's good. But for now, the bomber, the chance of that bomb going off was 0.025%. But it happened and it was a big hit. I'm wondering the nuke. Oh no, the nuke is 0.01. Okay. I imagine that probably gets rid of all the blocks. Anyway, let's make the blocks more valuable. This means we get more gold and we can unlock other mines quicker. So we'll get 6% more money now. I guess a bigger backpack size is always good. And the chance to find token bags and money bags and then we're good. Right now, before we buy the next mine, if we if we up here go to the dark tab, you can see there's these sort of dungeony things. So if we head into the abandoned ruins, look, it's us. But suddenly we must defend ourselves. Ow, and we're not doing a good job at that. Now, that's because I can't defend myself with this pickaxe. But if I press R to swap to my sword, get back, get back. I can click to do that. So if I turn on my auto clicker, get back all of you. And then suddenly... These enemies cannot get near me. They can still shoot me though. So I've got to be quite careful. Especially now because I only have one health. Come on, Matt. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. I messed it up. Okay, so now we're absolutely rinsing through these guys. Ow, I got stuck on a birdhouse spear. We're just... <laughs> Look how fast my sword's going. It's going to come off if you wang it around that fast, Matt. Anyway, we are getting so much money for every kill here. Hang on, let's turn that off. That's making a right racket. Um, there's also... If we... If we swap, swap back to that, look, there's resources we can get. We can mine through these rocks. We can get some gold. There's all sorts to do here. Mm, resources, resources. Oh, there's also a snowman. Anyway, back to the sword because I've got to defend myself. Get back, get back. Oh, the little red one's shooting your balls at me. Stop flinging your balls at me. Anyway, back to the pickaxe so we can mine some more resources. And yeah, you can see I'm moving quite slow. That's why we want to spend some of our token upgrades on making ourselves faster, giving us a better sword uh, to make these dungeon crawling bits a little bit easier. Anyway, I'm just going to mine some of those out. These blue ones look pretty tasty. And oh, look, there's red ones. Ooh, red. Wait, not you. I didn't mean you, you red knob. But yeah, for all of these that we're mining, we're getting loads of tokens, which means we're leveling up. Then once the time 
timer hits zero, we get sent back here where we can spend our new points. So probably worth getting some health regen, if I'm honest. Maybe increasing my max health as well. And what is that? Jump. I could have jumped. I didn't realize. Yeah, probably also worth getting some sword upgrades. So we'll make a longer blade. We can make it sharper so I do more damage. Oh, we can make it a poison blade. Damage over time. Yeah, that would do. Give it some knockback. Uh, attack speed. Don't think I need to do that when I've got an auto clicker. Anyway, then I just want a higher chance to find money bags and keys and stuff like that. Then we can unlock some new mines. So we can buy the F mine. We can buy the G and the H and the I. Let's go straight to the I. Because I imagine the... Oh man, these take a while. Yeah, these take a while to dig through. But I imagine the the higher the letter, the uh, the more valuables we're going to get. And actually, this one has blocks of gold. So presumably, they're going to be worth low. Oh man, look how long it's taking to get through them. This is with my auto clicker on. I'm doing a click every millisecond. If I was playing this legit, I literally would have arthritis by now. Anyway, I guess we've got to mine all of these golden blocks out. They've got to be worth something, right? Thankfully, with my long reach, I can actually mine that block all the way from over here. Here. But because there's one further down, I'm going to have to make the ceiling bigger so I can fit myself. And anyway, we finally made it to this block. So let's get this. And then we've only got 60 remaining until our inventory is full. I have a feeling this payday is going to be big. Anyway, we're now full, which means I can turn off this god awful sound. Listen to this. That is what I've been listening to for the last 10 minutes. So turn off auto clicker. Oh, I can hear the birds again. And we'll head up to this guy. What is it going to be worth? Please be worthwhile. That actually took ages. Oh. Oh, I could buy a house. I mean, there aren't houses in this game, but I could buy one. Okay, so that was good. I reckon we sharpen my pickaxe because that doubles the damage every single time. No, we didn't actually get a bomb again. Not too surprising. Not 0.025%. But let's triple the odds of that happening. Wait, actually, I've gone up to 0.45%. I don't know how fast I'm actually mining. Yes, my auto click is set to a millisecond, but the game probably doesn't register that fast. Right, let's go to the next few mines anyway. So we're on mine K. Oh, we got gold box. Oh, our blue, blue blocks even more rare. Oh, look how fast. Okay, I'm actually mining way quicker. I should have, I should have upgraded that a long time ago. But yeah, my plan like last time is just to head towards all of the all of the special blocks. So the gold ones, I'm going to guess the blue ones. So doing something I should probably never do, mining straight down. But then we've got to this blue one. And then, oh, we got a bomb. We got a bomb. Yes, the bomb chance paid off. So how many blocks did I get before? Probably about 100. If I can get a bomb explode after every 100 blocks, I'll be pretty happy. Okay, so last block is a gold one. We'll head back to the shop. What's it worth? Only 18 grand. What? <laughs> I don't understand why in the last mine it was worth 175 grand. And that was only 18. Are these blue ones not worth very much? Oh, wow. It's like I've made a shower except for their shards of stuff. Oh, look. Bottom left. A dark mine has opened. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go sell this. So 13 grand, not great. But we've got to get to the mine. So back in the dark ones. Look, the dark cave. So we are in. Ah, there's enemies. There's enemies. Get back. Get back. <laughs> oh, yeah, the sword is good. This gets us so much money as well. Like every enemy we kill is a good few grand. I get 10 grand for those. What are they worth? 600. So yeah, all about killing the red guys. I don't really know where I'm going. I'm probably going to get lost. All right, more enemies. That is more money. Thank you very much. Man, now I'm like underground. I want to be doing like the... Anyway, we leveled up again and I emerged with 147 grand plus 10,000 tokens. So let's just keep making the chance of a bomb happening more often. Oh, they're expensive. They're expensive now. It's a 1% chance though. Not bad. I think I'll get more tokens faster chop. I'm not sure if faster chop does anything with auto clicker either. But then we can buy mine L. Let's hope it's a bit more profitable than mine K. So here we go. Lots of blue in this mine. I assume do I want to aim for the blues? I imagine so. Oh, I've just wrote. Have I started off with more blocks than I usually? Oh, I have a feeling the reason why last round was worth so much. You know, all the mining I do underground in the dungeons. I think I keep those blocks. So let's go have a look. If I just go sell all my blocks now. 280 grand. Yes. Okay, so you don't really get that much money from mining, like, these mines. You gotta go mine the dungeons. Still, we'll unlock the next one, mine M, for 150 grand. I wouldn't mind a better chance to find money bags, though, and token bags. But yeah, we've just gotta wait for these to open up. Now, I'm guessing these only open up if we're mining. So let's get into mine M. M for make me rich. I mean, it's full of red stuff, so presumably that's gotta be worth a bit more. So before, when I chased the colored blocks, I think we got 18 grand. And what's this one going to net us? Oh, wow. It's like it's raining blood now. That's a... Uh... <laughs> 
That's not nice. Oh, the joys of an auto clicker. I just accidentally pressed go live on uh, OBS. So sorry, people that joined my Twitch stream for like five seconds thinking I was going live. I'm not actually going live. I just got an auto clicker. I couldn't control it. It was too powerful for me. Yeah, I've also got about 100 recordings where I hovered over the record button as well. Anyway, good news is our inventory is full. Let's see. Is this worth more than 18 grand? Only just 21. That's pathetic, mate. Considering how much I invested in this. Not ideal. Let me see. Are any... No, no. None of these are open. They're not open. Well, anyway, let's just keep doubling our pickaxe damage. Perhaps get more tokens as well. You got to invest in order to make money. And I'll tell you what, I'm just going to dig straight down. And hopefully, yes, we'll get a couple of bombs that will help us. Oh, that gave us so many blocks. We're already up to 100. Oh, look, a dark mine has opened. Hurry, hurry. Okay, we've got to get out. We've got to get out. All right, mine, 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 mine. Okay, we're good. We're good. So we sell that for 12 grand. Oh, I'm not going to be able to make the jump. Right, we've got to mine our way out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's first give ourselves some more move speed, though. Oh, it's maxed out. Nice. Maybe a bit more health reach gen a bit of max health give ourselves more damage and a longer reach and we're back in the abandoned ruins now i know how much money we can get here oh we got 11 minutes as well okay get back foul beasts look at that a thousand per kill but what's more amazing is how much money i get from mining all these minerals at the end so you gotta blitz through all of these yes we've leveled up as well by the way i'm so glad that like mining nothing like the air like it doesn't make a noise this sword makes a right racket i mean i guess swords do sort of make a noise when you swing them but don't pick Pickaxes? I guess not. I don't know. All I do know, they make us the cash. So we'll make sure we get all of these rocks. Destroy any enemy that comes near us. And then with six minutes remaining, I think I've pretty much cleared this place. So let's head back up and then go see... Ah, I fell down. <laughs> <laughs> Go see how much this is worth. Ooh, 266 grand. Amazing. Which means we can afford mine N. Nice. N for nice. So let's have a go at doing the straight down technique. Hope for some bombs. Hope for some layer clears. Uh, I don't think I've seen like a whole layer get wiped out yet. That is meant to be a perk. But I feel like mining straight down is probably the way to go. And then you go back up to the surface. Then we do another one. I guess about here. Vertical strip mining, we'll call it. Oh, there's a bomb. There was a bomb. Uh, and that filled up our inventory. So what's that worth? 22 grand. Ugh. I won't lie. I thought it would be better. I thought it would be better. I've just realized, editor, you may want to sense my character. When my arm's straight down, it looks a bit dodge. It's all right when it's like that. But oh, we leveled up to level six. Oh, and look, we found a gem thing. We finally found a gem in one of these rocks. Oh, another bomb. Okay, I think it's all about the wiggle. Because if you go straight down while wiggling, you sort of destroy like the weak blocks to the side of you. Right, we've just got to carefully get to this side though. So we can sell 16 grand. Not ideal. Let's go see what this gem does though. Ah, it's a raw ruby. We can sell it for one gra 1,000. Is that it? Anyway, I've got 20 diamonds. So we could open a rare gold treasure key. So the treasure is up here. So gold treasure. There's a chance of getting one of these. Ooh, let's go. What is it going to be? What is it going to be? 10 diamonds. I literally spent 15 to get that. Nice. Still, we go again. We go again, boys. The show goes on! All right, what's it going to be this time? What's it going to be this time? Dynamite. What does dynamite do? I can sell them for 1k. And I think that might be it. I'm pressing like all the buttons to try and... Oh, no. No. It's right click. It was right click. I've just wasted all my dynamite in one spot. Oh, wow. That uh, that made a mess, though. What's that worth? 20 grand. Okay. Layer dynamite. Then let it explode. Oh, man. That's awesome. I wish I didn't do three at once. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's right click to do the dynamite. So we made we made some fairly decent money there. We need 500k for the next mine though. And there's none of the dark areas open. So I think for now, guys, we will leave it there. And I'll just waddle around waiting for one of those to open. So if you guys enjoyed, boost like button. For now, I'll say peace, love, and nothing but hard hats. Bye, guys.